Kenwood's brand new DDX6905S is a newcomer to their Exelon line and boasts some cool new tech from Kenwood, making the DDX line unique in its own right. This double din doesn't have quite a seven inch display, but the 6.8 inch clear resistive screen is pretty damn close. The DDX has all of the essentials. It's a DVD CD receiver with built in Bluetooth and HD radio but it has one of Kenwood's newest features, Web Link, creating a portal to apps like Waze, YouTube, Yelp, Music, and Weather, all displayed and controlled at the stereo. And no, it's not a screen mirror. I'm guessing that this is Kenwood's answer to compete with CarPlay and Android Auto without the royalties. Download Kenwood's Web Link app on your phone. It works with iOS and Android via a USB connection. Once in the web link source, a handful of apps come up, literally just a handful. It's not compatible with most of the apps you'll use. With our Galaxy S9, we get access to YouTube, Waze, Media Player, which is the phone stored music, Yelp, and Weather. The design looked like a folder from Windows 98 with optional metallic background. Its YouTube feature seemed a little hard to navigate, almost like it was in a beta phase. Searching for videos is slow, it's hard to scroll through and find the content you're looking for, but the video playback looked solid. But for a video platform designed to show you as much content as possible, unless you know exactly what you're looking for, YouTube on Weblink is an inefficient process from the stereo. But video playback again looked really good. I did like the Media Player app, it uses the full album artwork for whatever is playing. Yelp was solid too, great for checking out places on the go, reading reviews, plus you can open up directions directly from it to Google Maps or Waze. Waze works with Weblink and displays on the stereo, however it is slightly cropped on the receiver's screen. Other than that, it works well. You also get weather, which requires no app to download. YouTube, Waze, and Yelp need to be downloaded onto your phone beforehand. I give Weblink a B minus C plus rating, but this rating is likely to go up with future firmware releases. Next up, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto bring your smartphone apps to the stereo. I'm sure we all know what these two do. We've been over them a hundred times. They support tons of your apps like phone calls, messaging, music apps, Spotify, Pandora, podcasts, radio apps, navigation, and thanks to iOS 12, Apple CarPlay now supports Waze and Google Maps, like Android Auto does. After taking away the iPod AV auxiliary inputs on the last year's model of stereos, Kenwood brought it back for the new DDX line. Clearly, they learned their mistake. This will allow you to display an outside video source onto the stereo or even mirror a device with the QMV, TOP35 AV1, and Bueller BU HDMI V. Links for all those and how to mirror in the video bio. The stereo has a solid boot time of 10 seconds. Bluetooth helps you avoid those costly texting while driving tickets and lets you practice hands-free calling and go through your phone book. You can also wirelessly stream music from your libraries and apps to the radio from your mobile device. Simply connect your iPhone with USB for auto Bluetooth pairing. The DDX6905S also offers dual phone Bluetooth connection, so you don't have to fight over whose playlist is best. The built-in HD radio provides CD quality audio from your favorite stations. You can connect a USB thumb drive or connect your smartphone via USB, which enables a charge to your phone, plus music and app control over Pandora and Spotify each app having their own source on the stereo. For Android users, the USB provides Android Rapid Charge and Android Music Playback. USB displays album artwork onto the radio and offers higher quality audio as opposed to compressed Bluetooth audio. Installing the iDialing Maestro RR integrates your vehicle with factory amplified audio systems like Bose and Infinity. Integrates factory steering wheel controls, satellite radio and USB. It also adds OBD2 support with vehicle information allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. For vehicles that don't need the Maestro RR, the DDX6905S is steering wheel control ready with the AS 
WC1 and satellite radio ready with the SXV 300V1 tuner, links in the bio. A USB thumb drive has the ability to display photos and videos on the radio as well as music files. For audio, the radio is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC files. And for video, is compatible with playback of MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, and H.264 files as well as viewing JPEG images. The keys have variable color illumination to set to any color you want or use the scan option. Plus select a preset background or customize it by uploading one yourself with a thumb drive. Audio adjustments start with a customizable 13 band EQ with several optional presets. The connections in the back include Bluetooth microphone, 3.5 millimeter AV output, five volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, 3.5 millimeter AV input, iDataLink Maestro, Sirius XM, dual USB pigtails, video output, backup camera, front camera, and radio antenna. The stereo comes with two USB extensions for Android and iOS, wiring harness, Bluetooth microphone, and optional trim. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.